Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in your toy land. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Madness. And you join me at a new venue this time, somewhere I've never fished before. And uh, we're down at Lakeside View Fishery um, for a bit of a social, really. Um, basically, back along me, Carp King, Hugh from the Fishing Bloggers, Sean from the Fishing Bloggers, and uh, Craig arranged to, uh, to do a social, like a winter social. Uh, after mucking around at various messages and trying to work out a venue, uh, we decided to book up Birch Lake uh, down here, somewhere none of us have really fished before. Um, I think a couple of guys have done the big lake, which is uh, just to the left of me there. And it's like a 10 acre lake with loads of chunks in. Um, but Birch Lake's just like a small little three acre lake with about 90 fish in, uh, about 10 pegs. So we decided to do a lake booking. Um, between us, it costs like about 50 quid per, per 48 hours, so it's the same as booking anywhere else. But yeah, um, on that note, so we arrived down here around 10 o'clock this morning um, after we went to Helen's Cafe just down the road for a massive fry up and a get together. As usual, I was late, <laughs> traffic and all that. But yeah, a um, bit of a social, like I say, so I don't know how much fishing is actually going to get done uh, and whatnot. But yeah, currently time's 11 o'clock. Um, we're just in the middle of getting the rods out, just setting up all the bivvies. And uh, for the draw, what we've done is uh, from the cafe, we had various numbers, um, order numbers basically, one to five. And put them in the bucket and everyone drew a number. Um, the numbers were uh, matched up to the lake. Uh, basically, we, we, we looked around the lake to start off with, walk, had a walk around and decided um, to split the lake into five. So five different sections basically. Um, due to being there's five of us and, and there's obviously other swims but we closed them off and just boom 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 five sections of the lake. Um, five being the front end of the lake uh, closest to the car park and then one being the furthest um, of, on the lake as well. So yeah um, we all drew the pegs. I got number five uh, which is closest to the car park so not much of a barrow. Hugh um, drew number four um, which is basically next to me so we've got a fair bit of water between us but what we decided to do was just park up both boobies together fish out of one swim um, because it's just a lot easier and get anything else because the place is just boggy as well completely boggy there's, there's not many hard spots for your bivy so yeah craig drew number three uh, so right out in front of him he's literally just got the island and um so both sides of the island and it looks half half decent to be fair talking drew number four um so it's just literally open water a bit a bit of open water really and sean Drew uh, sort of the short shore really, right down the end, I think it's a shallow end of the lake as well. Just a little island, um, so he's got a bit of water to cover, but I think if, then again it is shallow, he's saying around three foot of water. I think me and you, I've got the deeper sense, and my deeper sense is like 12 foot of water, so the, the depth drop from 12 to 3 is a fair whack. But yeah, like I say, we're down here for a social, um, so hopefully one of us can bag a fish. So I'll leave you, for it. So I'll leave you to it for now. And, uh, Let's get this social on the road. Come on. Good evening, guys. And uh, time's kind of half five. Going to get dark in a minute. And um, just going to explain to you what I've done tonight, really. Um, well, as you're aware, um, I'm in the same swim as Hugh, um, so we've both got our, our rods here, to minor areas of here. Um, what I've done earlier was I've got one, my left hand rod, um, like on the bottom of a shelf on the island, just in front of me. And that was on a, sing a Ronnie rig with a uh, signature squid pop-up, and uh, which has been gooed in the Boochaberry goo, whatever, from Corda. Uh, my left and um, uh, no, my middle and my right, um, 
I right down the far bank, went round with the deeper earlier, and um, it was about 12 foot deep. Seen a couple of uh, fish on the icon, so two pop up, so I thought right, we're in the area. Um, so I kindly chucked my lead round uh, onto the side of the bank. Hugh uh, was there, got them for me, made them all nice and pretty, um, and you left them there. And then I kindly asked Carp King to borrow his bait spoon, um, just because I did cast earlier and it was about 27 and a half wraps but that was on Hugh's nine foot wraps because he's got little baby rods um, but yeah so uh, I said, with the wind and that it's just hard to get on the spot and what, what not so Carl can kindly uh, let me use his bait spoon and uh, so I uh, walked up the margin with it I uh, got a load of bait which was uh, one, my left one my middle rod sorry is on a uh, German rig a fluorocarbon and a uh, spicy squid wafter gooed up in the uh, cord of spicy goo um, with that I uh, bait spooned it out uh, in that I put crushed boily krill boily uh, maggots hemp maize and yeah that, yeah that was that was it put it out a whole like 12 meters of uh, a baiting spoon dropped it off and then um, my right one done near enough exactly the same German rig but I used a um, almond wafter on that um, just a nut match a hat sort of thing and the bait on that I uh, done everything the same so maggots hemp and maize and all that um, but switched the boilies uh, to the manila sort of ones I've got so yeah that's the update for tonight um, Hugh's just done three solid bags on like a little shelf I think it was about three about three foot wasn't it three foot yeah about three foot deep um, so hopefully obviously I'm in the deeper water he's in the shallower water so hopefully one of them goes off and um, if it's in the shallow, I'll change with mine to the shallower water like by the island and that later on and in the margin. Um, but until then, we'll just see what happens. So yeah, I'll see you bright and early in, uh, in the morning if not. guys and uh yeah sadly enough no one had nothing last night um time was five o'clock and still no one's had nothing a uh, bit of a change up tonight for me really um so my left arm rod is on the island i put out on a german rig again and a uh, krill pink wafter of course heli, heli safe system um but with that i literally just spotted the granny out of it um i had a load of mix left like hemp, maize and uh, maggots and a load of pellet and uh, a bit of crumb boily in there and I've literally just spotted the granny out of it. Um, everyone's been trying small little mesh bags and baits and chucking in boilies and less and less. Um, so I thought I'd just spawn the granny out of it and see if that works. Um, my middle rod is on a uh, spicy squid wafter German rig again and a helitape system. Uh, with that I've gone to the right of the island just off the edge of it on the bottom of the shelf that's in about 12 foot of water and I've, with that I've just scattered a few uh, boilies over the top because um, I didn't want to spawn that so I just got the boilies catapulted them on top and uh, the right hand rod's just right up the margin really um, there's a geese on the other lake who said the margin sort of works so I decided to chuck that on a uh, Ronnie rig a little white little pop up mini little pop up and that's just on a Ronnie rig and with that I just scattered a load of pellet on it um, literally I had a bucket of pellet got me scoop a couple pellet on it they brought up on pellet I think um, so it's quite a good little tactic to see if that works um, Hugh sadly enough had nothing either he's literally just gone solid bags um, but instead of going on a shelf which was three foot yesterday he's brought it back in a bit into a six foot of water um, all on solid bags with all um, the DNA baits wafters like PB wafters and whatnot so yeah um, that's the plan for this evening um, hopefully one of us uh, can bag a little bite tonight um, just to save the blank if not, I'll see you bright and early in the morning.
But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, plug into these guys' channels as well, because they're absolute legends. Oh. And not you. Oh, that's not and Craig's channel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Craig! <laughs>